All right, let's learn how to build a simple counts table in Excel. So this is the show statistical distribution of a, of a, of a variable. So we have a variable here, majors. Um, so we have uh, various college students here in their majors. Uh, and then we have uh, 66 rows minus one for the title of the variable. So we have 65 students in our group. And we're going to turn this into a table to see how they distribute. Um, so the easiest way to do this is go up to A1. Uh, so go ahead and click in there and then hit Control Shift Down, Control C, uh, and you'll be able to make a copy of your data set. And I'm going to kind of arrow over here. I'll go over to D3 and I'm going to hit Control V and paste uh, a copy of my data into column D. Um, and then I'm going to hit Remove Duplicates and hit OK. And now I know that I only have uh, four categories. So these are just students in education, science, business, or economics, and history. So those are my four groupings. I'm going to count. Um, I'll show you how to count them manually real quick. And then at the end of the video, I'll put on how to automate the counting if you want to do it fast um, using formulas. So uh, at our bottom for any of our tables, we're going to have totals. Uh, we need to know what we're counting. In this case, we're counting how many students have each major. Uh, and then we're going to convert over to percentages each time. So we'll convert all of those uh, numbers over to percents. Okay. So to count uh, manually, the easiest way is going to be to sort this. So you're going to highlight all your data, hit uh, data sort, and then uh, we're going to sort the majors A to Z. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and then the way I would count it manually is I would just highlight everything. Again, there's faster ways to do it, but this is a if you're if you're not sure how else to do it, the easiest way is to click. If you click in the middle of the cell, right, you can drag down and highlight everything, and it says down here how many cells are filled. So there's 17 uh, business and economic students, uh, education. There are also 17. And then sciences, oh, history. History, there's seven. And sciences, there's 24. 24 and seven. So once we get here, we're going to sum up all of ours to make sure we counted the right number. Again, there should be 65. So the quickest way to do that is there's an auto sum. Uh, shortcut. So I go down here into totals, I hit all equals, um, and it gives me the sum, uh, or you can type equal sum up with the CE4 colon E7, or you can hit equal sum and drag and grab. There's multiple ways to do it, but all equals is the fastest way to sum up a column. Uh, then I'm going to convert those over to percentages. So I'm going to divide, I'm going to hit equals, I'm going to take each number and divide by the total. And then I'm going to lock that total by hitting F4 um, or Command-T if you're on a Mac um, to put those dollar signs. So now when I drag it down, it'll keep the 65 locked, but it'll let this numerator, which is E4, go to E5, then E6, then E7. All right. So if you look, uh, if you want to uh, replicate, again, if you haven't looked at the replicating video, um, you instead of clicking in the middle where you highlight, when you drag, you can click on this little button down here in the right corner of each cell. And when I drag that down, it'll replicate the formula down. Okay. Uh, and so if you go down, you see it'll go E5, E6, E7. So the numerator is going to float down to 24 to 17 to 7. But they're all going to be divided by E8 because I locked E8 with the dollar signs. And so it stays on the 65. Okay. Um, and then again, I'm going to sum all those up again, all the equals. Um, I'm going to convert them all to percentages. Okay, so sum is 100%. That's what we want to see. Um, and then I'm going to kind of make it a little prettier. So let's put some borders so we can read it. And then I'm going to put it in an order that makes sense. Okay, uh, this order doesn't really help us. Alphabetical order doesn't really make sense because it's categorical. So typically with categorical variables, I'm going to highlight this top section. Don't include the totals because you don't want to sort your totals. Um, and then I'm going to sort that table by number or percent. It doesn't matter. They're the, the same thing, just in a different scale. Um, largest to smallest. 
and now they're in what, what I'll call Pareto order in class. So if I tell you to Pareto sort something, this is what I mean. And now sciences becomes first because it's the most frequently occurring. And then as we go down, um, we get lower values. Okay, so categoricals will always Pareto sort. And that's your basic table. Um, again, if you don't, um, I'm going to take a copy and move it to a new sheet. If you don't want to count manually, if you want to automate your counting process, um, you know, the easiest way to do this is, again, I'm going to copy my data. I'm going to use a count if formula. Um, I'm going to start the same way we did before. I'm going to copy it over. I'm going to remove duplicates. Uh, but you can build a formula to count for you. It's called count if. Uh, first thing it needs is where am I counting? So I'm going to highlight A2 down to A66 and hit F4. So it locks that range. So A2 to A66. Then I'm going to hit comma. And it says, well, what am I looking for? So where am I counting and what am I looking for? My criteria is going to be this. So I want it to count how many times this thing shows up in this range. Um, and it'll do that. So then you can just double click down and it'll count them for you. Okay. So you can automate counting. I recommend it. It's faster. It's more accurate than you um, <laughs> most of the time. There are some, some if your data is not clean, it can cause some problems. But that is how you automate the counting if you want to learn how to do it. That's a count if statement. So anyway, but you'll end up in the same place if you do that and then build the table out in Pareto sort. Um, but you should end up with a table that looks like that. All right. Uh, so that's it for the basic counts table. We'll do it again with numeric.